Hello and welcome. My name is Clara from Creations by Claire. In this video, I will show you three items I painted in the gingerbread theme that can be your Christmas decor. The gingerbread boy and the reindeer I purchased at Target in a previous year from their craft, craft section. You Now you have to go shopping very quickly right after Christmas to get these Christmas, anything Christmas related. And for this project, you'll need very little supplies and I'll have them listed in the description. First, I removed the sticker in the back. I did need that little tool, the scraper, to remove it. And then I used Gooby Gone to remove the stickiness. It looks like I attempted to paint these in a previous time. I don't know why I didn't finish. But anyway, uh, a good coat of this chalk paint and then I'm going to apply an acrylic paint and this chalk paint will help from the acrylic paint just soaking through this this uh, kind of raw wood. I'm going to let the paint dry between coats before I start putting the next coat of paint. I will also sand the gingerbread boy and reindeer a little bit front and back because of the the, the paint it raises the, the the grain of the wood just I will sand it just very lightly Now after a couple of hours, the chuck paint has dried. I'm applying the color nutmeg by Apple Barrel, I believe. The uh, It's the color nutmeg and the acrylic paint. And I'm going to give it two coats, front and back, and on the sides. After the first coat had dried, I gave it another light sanding. As you can see, it was the, the wood grain and it took a lot of the paint off on the sides and the front. So I gave after the sanding, I gave it another uh, coat of nutmeg in the front and then gave it the, the uh, painted backside <clears throat> of the gingerbread here. Also, I wanted to see some texture on the front side of the uh, gingerbread boy and the reindeer. So I mixed in like half, 
uh, half a baking soda with the nut nutmeg acrylic here. And it was not enough for both. Uh, so I, I did make a second mixture once I finished the, the reindeer. And uh, first I applied with the paintbrush and I didn't like how it was uh, dabbing on. And I wished I had a makeup sponge, but I didn't. So here you'll see in a little bit, I will use a, uh, a cotton, cotton swab. Just round cuts, cotton swabs that you clean your face with, and that seemed to work really well, also. And just applied it in the, on the front of the reindeer to give it just a little texture, a little raised texture. Here I'm going to make the eyes and the button buttons to, to cover the the holes of the gingerbread man using air dry clay. The name is DAS D A S. For the eyebrows just took a little chunk of clay and rolled it between my palms and the ends were uh, skinnier and just cut it in half and that's how I formed the eyebrows and also used that one of the pieces to cover his mouth. The same for the reindeer. I'm measuring out the, the size I want for his eyes. <clears throat> Came out a little bit a little bit too big at first and I just kind of squeezed off a little piece to cover his eyes and also to cover the the mouth and then forming his uh, eyebrows. Do reindeer have eyebrows? Well, if they don't, this one has. He kind of looks uh, similar to the gingerbread right now. Before I glue on, I painted the all the pieces of clay with uh, the color plaster chalk paint. And just uh, as soon as I finished, I'll be gluing on with the wood glue. So I did make them, they're a little bit larger, uh, just a little bit larger than the hole so that the uh, glue could had a little spot to grip on on the wood.
now I'm ready to outline the uh, reindeer. I'm using a Poshka pen. I could have used a, a just a white pencil or pen. It didn't have to be a Poshka. But this, this pen is so smooth, it helps in my drawing for me. So I'm just putting a little curls on the reindeer's reindeer's uh, antlers and just going to go all the way around the reindeer and it this is all this drawing is will help when I outline with the white uh, tulip puff paint I decided to add the stands to the reindeer and the gingerbread boy so I had this scrap wood which I should have probably painted before I in hammered two nails uh, I did film it the uh, I did take it outside and uh, I did mark it before I nailed the uh, this the piece of wood to the bottom of his feet so here I am using the uh, Tulip White Puff Paint and I found this at Walmart, uh, ordered online actually. When I went to Michael's, I couldn't find any white tulip uh, paint or puff paint. And also uh, uh, used some inspirations I found from Pinterest. It was not a lot for gingerbread. There's, I mean, there is a lot for gingerbread boys, a lot for reindeer, and in the gingerbread theme. So I kind of had to create my own, my own ideas. And here I'm making some swirls on his little arms. I didn't want to put too much. To detract from the gingerbread theme. Not to say you can't, but for me, this kind of wanted to make it simple, but a little decorative. And the little dots, little swirls that I will outline with the white puff paint. That's good to shake the bottle of puff paint before you begin to apply especially if you're getting close to the the bottom of the uh, barrel in your bottle and just kind of squeeze gently and then also kind of helps to squeeze the do a trial squeeze on the side on paper or side of the cardboard and if you saw me I, I did a trial on the cardboard and then put my wrist on top of it so don't do that do it a little bit far away your little test trial but once you have it squeezed and you kind of gently start up squeezing the the jar to extract the paint it'll it'll come out pretty smoothly and my wrist was hurting <laughs> squeezing too too much I love the puff paint but it does take a little wear on your wrist and here I'm applying on the little swirls the little wings that I drew out with the Pashka this just goes on very smoothly if you don't put the bottle down little dots I'm trying the hair dryer for the heat to see if I could raise the puff paint. And it slightly, slightly raised the puff of the paint. So, if this is 
this part skip, that will be okay. So I decided to also add a little bowl to match the gingerbread boy to the reindeer. And here I'm painting the, the bottom stand of the reindeer. And here I'm painting the, the stand for the gingerbread boy. I just went used the, the nutmegs on the wood. It actually looked pretty nice. Here I'm applying uh, Elmer's glue to the reindeer to apply the uh, glitter. And I'm going to tell you, this was a mistake. I did not like all that glitter on the reindeer. So, but I'm just showing you what I did. I applied the Elmer's glue and then the, the glitter. I don't know, maybe it was the type of glitter. It, it is fine. The label says it's fine glitter, white clear glitter. But I'm going to remove some of it with a paintbrush. And I'm going to paint over it with nutmeg paint. Here I'm measuring the the distance for the uh, uh, gingerbread's legs and drawing at the bottom of the uh, the, the stand that was going to hold the gingerbread boy. I marked it with the posh paint the distance and then uh, measured the the width and the length and then just kind of eyeballed where I'm going where his would be. And this is where the bottom I applied the two small nails or hammered the two small na nails outside and then erased the pencil. Here I decided to put uh, supposed to be represent some ice or snow and just painted uh, the pot with Pashka. I had uh, outlined it with uh, the the posh the poshka the little swirls little cloud looking before uh, painting and just painting it with uh, the color plaster. And I will do this effect to both the gingerbread boy and the reindeer paint this uh the snow underneath and then i will outline it with puff paint uh and put a couple dots and apply just a little bit of glitter not too much so here's the back of the gingerbread boy I'm painting on the stand now i did decide it to use a stand rather than put a sawtooth hanger or drill holes on his head. It could be changed later if you if I want it to change it to a hanging. So here I outlined the uh, the bottom stand with the puff paint. Let's go I wanted to kind of drip over the sides and I did a little bit and I also put my finger on it at some point but I corrected that that mistake oh here's our special guest Waldo the Wyanosaurus he likes to love to show up during crafting time I applied the uh, Elmer's glue to the head. I outlined it. I outlined his the swirls on his head uh, and his uh, little bow tie. And I'm going to do this in sections. 
uh, applying the glue and applying the uh, the glitter. I didn't want to go overboard with the glitter like I did with the reindeer, so just a simple outline on the on the uh, lines of the puff paint or following the puff paint lines I used the Elmer's glue. I'm going to shake it off and what you'll see me do is I had like two big pieces of brown paper and uh, I would switch I would switch uh, off and on once I once the glitter fell on the paper I would and I did the next section I would bring the cleaner clean paper put it under him and then drop the glitter on the glue and use the of course the can if I ran out and then switch to on the next section brought in the clean piece of paper so uh, I was trying not to waste that precious glitter if you're still here with me on the video hang on you'll see a special guest in a few seconds And now that's it for the gingerbread boy and reindeer. You'll see at the end the completed project. Mm, clean those eyes of yours. Look like you've been crying. How's my little old man? How's my little old man? Doing okay today? Yeah? Okay, this is project two. It's a resin gingerbread boy and tree. This is probably a Michael's clearance section. Probably paid 50 cents to a dollar. But don't pass these up. These make some very cute, beautiful items with this resin or, or better ceramic. Uh, I've had them, I have had them several years and at first I thought to follow the little card guideline of the green, red. I said, no, this, I think this will have to be different. Let's make him in, let's make it in the gingerbread theme. So here it goes. I'm covering an entirety. I didn't even use plaster for this plaster chalk paint. I used uh, the nutmeg acrylic paint. And it will give it two coats and let it dry in between and the only thing is it this had a lot of little it very nice little uh sculpture but it had a lot of nooks and crannies that you gotta needed to use a, a smaller brush to get into so i just let it dry completely and then i could clearly see what needed to be painted so i'm ready to apply the uh the not puff paint i used the smaller this uh americana writer 3d dimensional it's the paint is much comes out much thinner than the puff paint because of some of the areas down below on the uh, gingerbread boy is very close and the with the puff paint it would have just blended to get a smooch together or dried and you wouldn't have seen the detail with the puff paint. If it had been a little bit larger, I probably would have used the puff paint. But, uh, and then funny thing with this writer, this paint, this is my last jar 
last bottle. I can't find it anywhere. I've looked online, uh, went to Walmart, Michaels, and don't see it. Uh, they had something similar names, but it's different colored neon colors. So uh, I have one last place to check is our neighborhood art store. I think that's where I got this several years ago. And um, so I'm going to be on the hunt for this. So I'm sorry I went off camera uh, with this. So, uh, but you'll see the finished product and where I outlined the little boy. I did use the puff paint for a little bit of the design there in the front, but revert it back to the Americana Rider for the rest. Here, I'm filling in the, more of the detail of the, the bottom part, the gingerbread baker boy baking, pouring, Whatever he has in his hand over the heart. I just love to use this writer, this this detail. It's, it was so relaxing to uh, outline the, the raised areas of this of this little sculpture. It, and I didn't follow exactly. I just just uh, the uh, the raised areas, just a little bit, just the little swirls. And the little dots is necessary to follow every little bit of detail. And here's the back of the tree, which again using the uh, Americana Rider. The, this type of uh, paint also it was would get clogged, so I had a long uh, pin needle that I insert every now and then, and then give it a good shake. And the instructions do say that to shake the bottle well. So here I'm applying the glitter and I'm doing it in sections. I've already done part of the tree. Just outlined the uh, lightly the uh, the tree leaves. Doing one side at a time on the edges, side edges of the tree. Just a little line of the Elmer's glue. This Elmer screw worked a lot better because of the point and could have used Mod Podge, but I wouldn't have had the, the point of, unless I used a, a, uh, a skinny brush. But this Elmer's glue worked pretty, pretty nicely to, to layer. Here's the completed projects, the gingerbread theme, the tree, glittery tree, and gingerbread baker boy, and my gingerbread boy, and this little reindeer.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video and are inspired. Please like, subscribe,